say welcome. Today we're going to be doing an introduction and assembly of the new Mars Hydro Smart Grow System LED Grow Light. This particular light happens to be their 3000 light, the, the FCE 3000. Uh, about a year ago I did a, a video on the FCE 4800. This is just a smaller version of it, but this has some uh, uh, minor changes and a big change. Minor changes happen to be the way the drivers hook onto the rails and uh, a few other little goodies. Major change, this box, this dimming box on the old one, you use your, your, your dimming knob there, right? You can't see it from where we're at now, but there's a Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. So you can hook this up either to your blue, straight to your Bluetooth to your phone or go over your Wi-Fi which goes out on the internet and back through your router or wherever you're at and you can control the light from there. You can dim it, okay? You can raise uh, the light if you want as far as intensity, okay? You can also do sunrise and sunset. Uh, it comes with a phone app, okay, that you download for both Apple and Android and uh, from there is where you're gonna do your programming. Uh, we'll get into a separate video over the programming and how to use it. But right now, I wanna point out the, how to assemble this light and then just give a, a brief review over it, okay? Now, it comes with this. These are uh, four plastic uh, Dealey Dobbs. I don't know what they're called, okay? But they're gonna fit on, underneath on our system here and they slide in and out, allowing us to snap on to our, our light rails in the center as opposed to uh, screw, uh, screwing on with a thumb screw. Okay, they, they thumb screw underneath. You can adjust the width if you decide to move these two bars closer together or further apart. That's how you do it with this, okay? And then of course this snaps on to this rail and you can adjust forward and backward with these, okay? So you got four of those. You got eight uh, uh, wing nuts. Those are gonna be used to attach our bars directly on to our rails. And we're gonna start off by doing the outside rails first. They're, they're non-movable. Only the two center ones are in this particular light, okay? And you can see they've got uh, the marks here, uh, an air, a little arrow pointing where they recommend you put them. Now, on the outside, they're gonna stay there, obviously, but these inside ones you can slide around Okay, it comes with uh, two end caps. So instead of that metal piece, they included inside here a little nut that we used to slide in and then put the end, end piece in, the metal end piece. It's already in there. So we just need to line it up with our little dot there. Okay, and then that's where our four um, eyelets are going to screw into. Okay, so outside rails first, then we'll do the outlets, then we'll put the inside rails. Okay, comes with uh, two uh, eighth, in eighth inch uh, rope ratchets, some wire hangers, some networking cable or RJ, I believe it's 45 uh, phone cable, and uh, our power assembly over here, which is our main 120 volts in this particular case, and then another wiring harness for the back, which uh, I'll go over that as we assemble it. But yeah, this is uh, pretty neat. I'm excited to give this a try. Um, Mars Hyde asked me, asked me to do a, an assembly and a, a review of the product. And then we're gonna do a grow with it. So uh, stay tuned, let me get set All up. All right guys, let me show you how this is uh, gonna fit together. We're gonna start off by attaching our two outside rails, okay? One on each end of, or outside light bars, I should say, light strips. They just fit right over this little brass on the end. You take your wing nut, slide it down in there. Now these aren't really movable. You wanna, you want they, they're movable in the sense that you wanna get them lined up, okay, to the center. Just thumb that down, okay. Thumb tight, it's good enough. All right. Then it comes with these. You can see there's now these are the end caps, and they only fit in one way, as you can see. They're made to fit the rail here. And you just now let's see there we go they slide in so you got a nice little end there okay as opposed to a metal all right now the next thing we do 
is we take our eyelids. This is where our wire hanger is going to go. Now, if you look, there's a, there's one right here, and it slides. You can adjust this, but they have a little round, you see? Over here, we had an arrow for the wing nut. Here, we have a little round, and that's where they recommend you just put it in there. Okay. It comes already in the bar, this, the, the inside nut. The, in the previous version, you had to, okay, I'm going to line it up. And tighten her down. This needs to be tightened down where it doesn't slide. Okay, I think I got her. I'm back it off just a little bit. Okay, you can go either way with these. They don't have to be perfect because you're going to hook your wire hangers. These deals. Okay are going to hook in like this on each end, just like that on each end of the light. Okay, so I'm not going to make you go through and watch me do all this. Uh, once we get the outside rail set on both ends now and the eyelets, then we're going to come in and we're going to finish installing the other two rails. Okay, then we're going to adjust uh, the driver and, and bit it on the rails okay so stay tuned right, I got all the light uh, bars assembled on here and tightened down our eyelets let's go on to the how to mount the driver now this driver is a little different uh, we've got these thumb screws underneath and what you do is you take these out and you take these a little plastic and what they're going to do is they're going to clamp on the rails like that. So we're going to slide them down in there. And you can't really see here. There's a, a brass nut on the inside there that's built in. You just put this in there and screw it down. And then you adjust it. We'll just get it snug for right now. Okay. Let me do the rest of them off camera. And then uh, we'll come back. Stay tuned. All right, guys, we got our little rails, uh, slide rails on here. Now they just clip. They slip over the top and they clip on here. If you want to move, you can see they just go right over the top. If you want to move them, you got to pull up on this tab on all four of them, and then you can adjust this forward and backward. All right. What I found is since I went with the stock spacing on these center rails is 200 on top of these I'll bring this over here so you can see they've got some uh, markings in millimeters 260 millimeters right at the edge of this on all four of them seems to work fine with the stock uh, setting all right so now the next thing I want to go over with you let me get my camera set back up here come on now all right is we're going to hook up our uh, our actual power harness. I'm using the term harness. Uh, that's this thing with all the five millimeter uh, ends. We're going to hook them up to these ends down here. Okay, and then this end is going to go in to this turquoise end here. And there's only one way it goes in. I don't know if you can see it with the light, but you see that little Y. Well, if you look in here, there's a Y. Those two go together like this. You just fit it in and it snaps in. If you want to release it, you turn this and it pulls out. Okay? Get it back in there. Alright, locked in. So that part's hooked up. Then, we're going to take each one of these and I like using twist tie or little uh, zip ties to get this wire mess because they're quite long you can mount this externally okay but we're just going to get it started right now and then I'll get it all hooked up but basically we start this is the end one so that's going to go in over here and they just plug in okay and you just go down the, go down the row there is a I'll show you that in a second there's a certain way they go in and put tits on these. 
like that. Okay? And I'll show you here. Actually, let me show you here. See how there's little little tits on that end? Well, the same thing for here. See them? Okay, so you line those up. And then you can give a little turn if you like. Alright, so we're just gonna do it this way. And our last one. Okay. Make sure they're in there good. Oh, well, we didn't have that one turned in. Give it a turn. Yeah, there we go. All right. And then the last thing is just our standard, this is a 110, it only plugs in one way, that goes right here, alright, and then, hang on now, let me get over to the power, let me get some power going to it. There we go. Okay, I'll back it out. It's on minimal right now. It's still pretty damn bright. You can see. Okay, so that's how you assemble this thing. Um, you can daisy chain right here with this CR1 and CR2. You can daisy chain. Um, I'm not sure how many lights. Ten lights possibly. Okay, you can do some reading on that on your own. Okay, but that's it. Uh, our next video in this series is going to be on actually doing the programming but this I think is going to be a game changer because to be able to control this this knob a lot of them a lot of lights out there have these little potentiometers and they work okay but trying to get it real accurate the same every time is difficult by allowing us to use Bluetooth and or okay I'll say or uh, Wi-Fi we can control the light uh, through an interface on our phone and it makes it a lot easier to dim this light uh, remotely dim and increase the intensity of light remotely so uh, and more accurately so that's it for this video as usual stay tuned and we'll keep you posted